Me being escorted out of the pub after being caught sniffing the toilet seats again. Me on the way home from the pub 15 hours after popping in for one quick lunchtime pint. And this was me after my ex-wife told me I'd forgotten our wedding anniversary for the fifth year running. Wow. I didn't know that. I just, uh, you're telling me now for the first time. Hi folks, welcome back. Quickie video today. Uh, yeah, just kind of sh shooting from the hip today. And I wanted to talk about four fragrances that you wouldn't think, maybe if you listen to all the other YouTube channels, um, generally speaking, women really like. Uh, not crowd pleasers, maybe, or risky, or whatever. Old fashioned, young women won't like them, whatever. Before we do that, don't forget folks, the sale is still on till only till the end of Boxing Day, UK time here. And that's the 26th of December, the end of that day. Our sale, 30% off all the fragrances at NortonandWilson.com. It is an incredibly popular sale, and this is just an incredible offer to get these fragrances at a ridiculously affordable price, which will probably never be repeated. Do not miss out. I'm just going to tell you the truth, guys. I've got four fragrances that women that I have uh, had smell have said smell really, really good. That doesn't mean I was necessarily dating them. I might have been, but it could have been just somebody who's a, a friend. I do have women friends that I speak to, too. I could have been just a stranger in a shop. But the uh, four fragrances, I can assure you, I have been told are really, really good by ladies. And they are not the ones you might think, okay? They're ones that people might say, a little bit polarizing, da 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 da. The point being here, just be yourself, weigh what you like. All women, it's like, you know, what food does a woman like? Somebody might like fish, somebody might hate fish, somebody might hate cucumbers, somebody might like. You don't know, so uh, just trust me, guys. Women have told me these smell good. First one may shock you. Koros, Yves Saint Laurent. I've had at least two women that, uh, you know, not doesn't mean doesn't mean they were girlfriends, but people who are female that I've spoken to about fragrances say, you know what one I used to really like? Koros. Okay, maybe they were roughly my generation, but you know, this fragrance is an amazing composition. It is rich, it is sort of fresh and sweet and sexy, you know, sweet. There, there are some sweet accords. Fresh and clean and dirty at the same time. It's got a lot of musk in there very musky and civet and these animalic notes and this the people say a pissy smell it's not really true but there's some kind of pheromone like aura that this thing pervades of sexiness to do like a healthy kind of sweat or something sounds gross but it's really 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 good uh the, yeah, i won't list all the notes because it's stupid but you know there are some fresh notes there are some floral notes there are leathery accords and there's just everything but the kitchen sink but it's masterful you can't pick out any one note it is a unique unique smell and you know the, the, the human nose has not evolved since 1981 when this was released, so much that women no longer, you know, they, they can still really like these smells. So if you like Koros, just wear it. Honest. Next one, Bois de Portugal. Supposedly the Creed one that's a little bit stuffy and old-fashioned. It's my personal favourite. I did know one lady that didn't used to like this. Claire from the Smurfy Girly channel never really t t took to it. But uh, I have had uh, somebody else tell me that this is a really, really nice fragrance. There's bergamot, lavender, sandalwood, vetiver, oak moss, ambergris. Stunning, classic, old-fashioned kind of, uh, you know, dressed up, dapper kind of smell. It goes down great. Uh, and, you know, it doesn't have to be a really old woman either. It, it, trust me, guys. Some women, maybe the woman you want, because you want someone with taste do you want someone who thinks invictus is lush or one million no up your game guys go for the woman who appreciates the uniqueness of you uh and antaeus from chanel again same thing i've uh, i sort of uh, sprayed this and somebody sort of i thought you know she's probably gonna what do you think about this fragrance i said to somebody and uh i thought this probably won't be popular and they said oh, i really like that that's really good that's really good you, sh you should you should definitely wear that one more often so antaeus from chanel a really good combination uh it's kind of got juniper berry in the opening subtle kind of herbal tones viewed as an 80s powerhouse as was koros which was from 1981 as was pierre bourdon but perfumer for both of those by the way from 1980 seven with the uh, Bois de Portugal and um, this has this kind of leathery castorium undertone uh, it has the famous jasmine of Chanel and it's sort of a more refined cousin not that they're related to Koros a little bit more um, let's say smooth and a little bit less rugged and gnarly smelling which Koros is but in a good way I really like Antaeus and you know don't think it's not suitable for spending time with a lady that who you might like to be attracted to you. That ain't true. Finally, Duc de Vervon's Alex Strem from Hubigant, a classic fougère. Luca Turin, the perfume critic, famously thinks this is awful. It's like a better version of Dracar Noir. So it's that green, piney, soapy, masculine freshness, almost a barbershop type of thing. So it's a little bit sharp, it's fresh, it's piercing, it's got a lovely oak moss base, green, rugged, masculine, piney, 
walk in the forest kind of vibes. Women like that. They like clean, soapy smells on men, and it's manly and grown-up smelling, and that can be a good thing, not smelling like bubble bubblegum all the time. Maybe even if you're 20 or something. I don't think it would be a bad choice to wear this on a date. I'm serious, man. Duke de Vervons, Alex Strem from Hoobigon. Let me know what you guys think about that in the comments down below. Thank you so much for watching. Remember, whatever you're doing in life, let's project, and although sometimes life really can stink, at least we can always smell good. See you next time, guys. Bye.